Hello everyone, this is going to be my first video about slangs. Actually, I'm going to have a series of videos about different lectures and these lectures would be really good for you to speak good English. So, this is just one part of all those lectures, slangs. Slangs are really important ones and these can help you a lot uh, to speak good English, okay? If you understand these slangs, if you use them in your uh, speaking or in your daily life or whenever you try to speak English, that this can be really, really useful, okay? Slangs are some informal or formal phrases that you can use when you are speaking English, okay? Uh, let's start with the first one. This is the first PPT of slangs and today we're going to learn just two. Uh, there would be in total 40 PPTs about slangs and we're going to learn around 80 slangs in all those PPTs and one PPT will have one. This is the first one. So first slang is this one, I am or am. I am or am. So in short, we say am. Say after me, am, am. Now here you can see the description. Here, am is used to tell someone about yourself or to describe something you are doing. Again, you can read this description, it's very easy. Basically, we are using I am or am um to tell someone about ourselves, okay? Or something that we are doing. Like I can say, well, I'm a boy. I'm giving information about myself. I'm 23 years old. I'm a student, I'm a teacher, whatever. Now let's look at some examples. So after this, you can understand uh, the slang in a better way and then you can use it whenever you are speaking English like look at the first one I'm so tired I'm confused I'm 23 years old please uh, don't mind about the Chinese here you see actually I put Chinese here because uh, at the time when I was making these slangs I was in China and there I wrote Chinese for my Chinese students okay so let's continue I'm happy here you see, and here are some icons I try to include. I'm hungry, I'm leaving work, okay? I'm thirsty, I'm from Xinjiang, China. This is a place where I used to live. Now you can use this slang and create more examples by yourself. Like you may say, I'm a girl, I'm a boy, I'm a man, I'm a student, okay? Uh, I'm tired, I'm angry. Um, hungry, whatever you want to say, you can try to create more examples. This will help you to understand this in a better way. Let's move on to the next slide. And it says that you can also add descriptive words with um, such as, okay? So once you add a word uh, or an adjective or something uh, in this slang or in any sentence, what it does, it gives more information, okay? Here it is saying something to an extreme level okay first of all you said or we learned I'm, I'm tired simply it means you are a little bit tired maybe or not much tired you have more energy left but if you say I'm extremely tired it means you are really tired okay here the word extremely is a descriptive words which is showing something uh, at the extreme level or we are really tired this word is referring to this one okay next one I'm terribly hungry again i'm like we are starving then we can use this one i'm terribly hungry okay i'm super excited as you see this girl she's really excited okay so you can try to add some descriptive words also with this uh, uh slang okay and you can make some more examples like you may say i'm really happy today okay or i'm really angry whatever you want to say okay so you can create more examples to help you understand and later on you can use them whenever you try to speak English. Now look at the second slang of this PPT. This says I'm in at on. See after me again. I'm in at on. Okay. So in at and on. These are actually uh, the prepositions. Uh, we will have a complete lecture about prepositions, how to use them. These are really important even 
the people who think they are really good at English or their grammar is really good, even those people, they struggle to use prepositions in a correct manner, in a correct way. But don't worry, we'll have a complete lecture about it, but here we can just simply learn uh, the use of these three here in this PPT, okay? So in the description section, it is saying that it describes an action you are doing okay let's look at the first one here i'm in i'm in i'm in so most commonly you will use this word in when entering a physical location such as a room or a building okay so once you are entering in a physical location that you can use um in for example i'm simply saying uh, i'm simply say uh, i can simply say for example here I am in my room right now, so I can say, I'm in my room, I'm in my house, I'm in the building, whatever, okay? Let's look at some examples, like here it says, I'm in the shower, I'm in the shower, I'm in the lobby, I'm in the lobby, I'm in a car, I'm in a house, I'm in a school. Let me explain this one, this one, I'm in a car, for car, for taxi, we say in because this we own our taxi we also own for a short period of time or whenever we are traveling in the in the taxi so we own it okay and car normally we own so for car we use in but for public transport we use on like i'm on the bus i'm on uh, i'm on the train i'm on the plane whatever these are all forms of public transport so in this case we use on but in the case of car we use in okay understand so you can make create some more examples to help you understand this I'm um, in and later on you can use it <coughs> sorry when you start speaking English okay let's move on to the next slide it says I'm um, at I'm um, at here if you, we read the description I'm um, at is mostly used for places where you go for a short time to do something typical okay here you go there for a short time you don't live at some place okay this is uh, the idea behind the uses of I'm um, at. You go there for a short time, you do something over there, and then you come back. For example, <clears throat> sorry, uh, I'm speaking too fast, I guess. So that's why I have some problem in my, uh, in my throat. Anyway, <clears throat> so you can use I'm um, at. Like you can say I'm um, at the cinema. You go to the cinema. You stay there for a couple of hours, you watch movie, and then you come back, okay? So you can use ad for the cinema. I'm at the shopping center or I'm at the mall, okay? Here again, in the case of mall, you can you can use ad because you go there, you buy some things, and then you come back, okay? Let's look at the, <coughs> the examples. The first one, it says, I'm at the mall. I'm at the doctor's office, okay? Doctor also have, uh, doctors also have clinics. But they sometimes they have office, so that's why I included this example here. I'm at the doctor's office. I'm at the park. I'm at the airport. Okay, so these are a few examples to use. I'm at. You can create more to help you understand in a better way. If you have some question, you can uh, you can uh, put it in the comment section, and I'll try to reply them as soon as possible. Let's look at the next slide. It says, in some cases, you can use both in and at, okay? Like here, I'm at the mall, I'm in the mall, I'm at the park, I'm in the park. In some cases only, you can use both in and at, okay? Let's move on to the last uh, couple of slides of this PPT of this lecture. I'm on. So I'm on basically here using the word on refers to a non-physical location such as your time being utilized by something else your time is being utilized by something okay and it is a, it's a non-physical location for example if you are working right now i'm recording this video on my laptop so i can say i'm working on my laptop or i'm recording my video on my laptop okay and let's look at some examples here <coughs> sorry i'm on the phone i'm on my computer i'm on a bus 
Uh, this I uh, have already described for public transport we use on like I'm on the bus, I'm on the train, I'm on the plane, okay, and your time is being utilized by something, it's a non-physical location, so I'm on my computer, I'm on the phone, whatever, you can also say I'm working on my project, I'm working on myself, whatever, okay, so in this way you can use I'm um, on, hopefully you understand this, if you have some questions, uh, make sure to comment in the comment section okay and i'll try to reply as soon as possible this was the first video i hope you understand if you have any question again i'm going to mention you can write it down in the comment section and i will be replying as soon as possible thank you very much see you in the next video take care bye bye